Hey there QTAC, it's Game Changer here, so let's have a look at this base as the second part of your review. So yeah, you've gone really heavy on the, the minefields here, you know, kind of cutting the uh, the attack off on this sort of side, assuming somebody's going to come out here uh, with, with land. Uh, but just an observation here. I don't think I would come at you with land. So my first objective for your particular base, uh, quick looking at your uh, defensive structure um, and units, would be to take out the war factory and probably be, if I felt the need, I'd take out your airfield. I could do that with one F-35 uh, strike here and two F-35 uh, strike here. Now, I'd get through absolutely no doubt at, at all because the most important building, as you see it now, is your... Uh, power plant because the f-35 would come at the shortest route and um, what that would mean is if i were to target your power plant the cc would take the brunt really that shouldn't be like that you really want the war factory to be protected by the cc or other uh, high value um, sort of uh, targets if you will so personally swap the power plant and the war factory over but get rid of the wall in between the two and really sort of shuffle them up at, um, so that the cc is on the shortest route in um, and uh, if you're trying to take the war factory the cc is in the way of the flight path so that's uh, objective uh, one uh, objective two is um, that still uh, would uh, leave you quite vulnerable in my opinion because quickly looking you have no SAMs whatsoever so the you are very um, kind of light in terms of air defense um, so you've got obviously the heavy uh, flak which is cool uh, it's boosted which is excellent uh, but that's it uh, you haven't got um, a ghost we know that from your uh, unit reviews um, as they wouldn't know but you haven't got uh, obviously the anti-air from the sense yet so that's obviously going to make you vulnerable that way um, so really if you looked at my base which is a similar level to yours I have three uh, level 7 SAMs 150mm each in metal and thaw so they were hard earned um, but if you F35 mine uh, you'll find that all three SAMs are single boosted and that's giving them 65 to 70% extra fire rate than normal. And that would mean if you do attack with either a Ghost Rider or an F-35 strike, then uh, you're probably not going to get back out alive. Now, I would suggest that a player could take you quite easily with um, uh, with a Ghost Rider, um, you know, because only you've only got that flat there. And if you know how to pilot a Ghost Rider, you could probably take that out first. But, but ultimately, um, you're vulnerable, really, because uh, you'd want to take out the War Factory, gone uh, i'd want to take out the airfield and there's not much you can defend against that let's be fair uh, but because of the way that you're doing your turrets um you just have no sort of defense against his air strike so that's that's the first thing you need to look at get some sams in there and get them level seven um secondly you know let's uh, explore the t uh, strategy the tactic that you're employing which is going to be push players land wise this way now i could deploy here probably straight underneath uh, the eye of uh, all three of those turrets and I'm straight then at your, your war factory that way and there's probably no other turrets that are going to pick us up you've got to think about the overlap um, and if you do have uh, turrets with big blind spots have something in the middle of them that doesn't have a blind spot so take that one out and put a rail gun for example that that would be uh, quite an effective sort of method to mitigate that um, I do like the fact that you've got howitzers in there because I think they're absolutely fantastic for fobs and I notice you've obviously got a peacemaker in there as well again really good for sort of uh, fob units but because you've pushed all your um buildings quite close to your base and your base is quite large that the, the, the a fob's going to be straight into your base i would probably suggest condensing the base uh, down a little bit um you know to be fair with you you know making the turrets overlap a little bit better um i, I think gone are the days where people are worried about you know like uh, somebody firing a nuke at them and taking out all the turrets i, I don't think that's really a strategy people kind of work with now um so i would bring these uh, turrets back closer in because let's be honest if i start taking you from this side this side probably doesn't even know I'm there yet, you know what I mean? And the other thing to think about as well is you've got two machine guns. Now, I could park in front of your machine guns with my Centurions, go for my dinner, come back and still probably be intact. So, we're really not going to cut it at this level. So, get rid of the machine guns. Get to two, maybe three level SAMs in there, but think about how they work. Have a start to think about um, how your base will perform against airstrike uh, and the fact that the uh, airstrike, the F-35, does take the shortest route and then set your base up so that uh, you're protecting via the shortest route your war factory 
or other high value targets you know and things along that sort of line so you can review that yourself uh, going forward um things i do like i like the airfields quite central so that's going to give the nemesis a uh, really good sort of uh, coverage of your base so that, that that's going to be uh you know good i do like the fact that you're you're high powered on the um how it's a that's excellent you've got them to level 10 really going to be difficult for fobs to to kind of get in there apart from the fob starting they're really going to be quite close to your base and again if you think from this side here uh, if your spawn zone's quite uh, close which it is because you've pushed these buildings uh, quite quite closer to your base itself your perimeter if you will if i spawn right close i'm probably already under the the howitzer uh, i'm probably already under the hydra um, and i'm probably already under this howitzer as well because the spawn zone um, or uh, is that close to the kind of um, the soft spot of the turret you know that area underneath the turret where it's non-effectual um, that chances are that that's going to make it more uh, difficult for the turret to do its job so you kind of have to have a think about that i mean um, i think i mentioned earlier having a rail gun uh, as, as mitigation for that sort of method but i do think bringing this more condensed base uh, into play is going to be absolutely key having to think about f35 strike getting the ghost uh, into your defense and getting the uh, the sense uh, um, at a higher level so that they're really strong defenders and get rid of the the pantsers that we saw earlier i think all that together combined with a better base setup is going to going to push you into probably the uh, the 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 50 percent um, sort of defense stat really which is absolutely phenomenal it's it's kind of uh, you know up there with the best of them um so that's probably what i would have a look at my friend uh over, i mean overall it's a great defense uh you know it's working well for you i just think it can work even better still if you kind of know how to tweak things to to your uh, advantage okay game changer out cheers